Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing this dual lens industrial bore scope made by Teslong. This is the NTS 300 model, which has the 16 foot or 5 meter cable for the bore scope. A link to this bore scope will be included in the video description. I have used another version of their bore scope cameras, which has a tablet like screen instead, and I'm extremely happy with its quality. As you can see, it comes neatly packed in a hard plastic case with sliding latches at the front. These latches do have a spot where you can either lock the case closed or lock it to your toolbox to reduce the chance of theft. It has pivot hinges on the rear of the case, so you don't need to worry about the plastic fatiguing over time and breaking, like what you may find with a flexible plastic joint. Once the case is open, included is detailed instructions in various languages including English, German, Japanese and Chinese. Next you'll find the handheld screen which is slightly different than the tablet version in my previous review. This is a 4.5 inch screen which produces a clear image, is rainproof and is protected with tempered glass so it's able to handle the abuse when working in the field. The charging and memory card port is on the side of the monitor protected by a rubber cover. This camera does come with a 32 gig micro SD card. At the bottom of the handle is a battery cover. This uses a 2600 milliamp lithium ion battery which can be replaced once it reaches the end of its life cycle. So there's no need to buy another bore scope when the battery has issues. We have a solid plastic construction with an orange rubber grip. This is easily kept clean in those dirty environments. At the front is a 1 watt Cree LED for working in those dark areas and this is controlled by a button on the bottom of the handle. The angle of the monitor can also be adjusted if needed depending on your workspace or position. Also included is two attachment ends for the camera, one is a magnetic tip and the other is a hook. Then is the USB charging cable. And finally is the 8mm in diameter, 16 foot or 5 meter cable with dual cameras and 6 adjustable LEDs built into the camera head. In order to switch between the two cameras, there is a button on the connector to alternate between the two. Connecting the camera cable to the monitor, this uses a screw on connection which has no chance of becoming disconnected. This only connects in one orientation. Press and hold the power button to turn the camera on. This same button also controls the camera LEDs. There is four settings for the LEDs, three brightness levels and off. Being able to control the brightness is a great feature as sometimes detail can be washed out with a bright LED, so turning down the brightness will help improve the image clarity. The full camera interface is easily controlled with the buttons on the bottom of the monitor. There are three modes and this can be cycled through pressing the mode button on the right. The top left of the screen will indicate which mode you're currently in. The three modes include video, photo and playback. With a low battery you'll see the screen does prompt a warning and your current battery charge is also shown at the top right of the screen. Next to the battery icon is also an indicator showing you have an SD card connected. For the photo mode, still images can be recorded at a resolution of 1920 by 1080. In video mode, going into the settings menu, the first tab is the mode setting for the video. This camera can record two different resolutions, one is 1920 by 1080 and the other is 1280 by 720. Recording is to control the built-in microphone which is great for taking down any notes. Then in the camera settings on the second tab, this controls the auto power, language, date and time, format the SD card, reset the default settings and current programming version. The playback mode, files can be deleted and protected from the settings menu along with controlling a slideshow. The file name will be shown at the top of the screen. The top right indicates how many files exist, the far left lists the resolution. Bottom left is the shortcut menu for the playback control. Bottom center indicates the current time of the video and the bottom right is the date and time stamps. Here is some unedited sample footage so you can see exactly what to expect. This is footage using the main camera. This is an excellent camera for those working in the field such as mechanics, HVAC techs, electricians, home inspectors, plumbers, industrial applications, etc. or even those working at home on their own projects. As I mentioned in a previous video, this is even great for having the sole purpose of inspecting frames of a used vehicle. With so many vehicles having frame issues in the snow belt, having this camera is certainly cheap insurance than wasting thousands of dollars on a frame repair or replacement. Pressing the button on the cable connection, 
Now is using the 90 degree camera from the side of the cable. The two cameras enables you to have maximum viewing angles regardless of what tight space you're working in. The camera has a IP67 rating which means it's protected from any dust ingress and it can be submerged in water up to 3.3 feet or 1 meter for a time period of 30 minutes. With the 4.5 inch screen it has a resolution of 850 by 480. Overall I'm extremely happy with this camera, I think it's a great addition to anyone's toolbox. Have you purchased this product? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below to help out fellow viewers. New videos are released every week on my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.